Welcome to SCVS Reviews. Today we bring you Radiolink SA100, a GPS receiver with compass. Inside the box we have the GPS model with the cable leads with a connector with 6 pins and 4 wires for GPS and a connector with 4 pins with 2 wires to compass. Inside the box also came the support that you will, will use to put GPS on your model with double side tape so you can hold it over right this and a lead with 6 pins to 5 pins adapter and um, that 6 pins I think is all used with PixHawk and 5 pins, I know that some controllers use it because I have a PixEck over here that I will show you after um, that use 5 pins to the GPS and telemetry model. Let's put this aside right now. Well, let's see how it is from inside. Only have two screws that you have to unscrew. It's very easy. And okay. The transparent lines that are illuminated with LEDs that you will see now. Well, let's look inside then. Over here we have the ceramic antenna. And, and on the sides of the ceramic antenna we, are, we have LEDs that illuminate that lines, transparent lines from the box. Behind, inside, we have Ublox M8N chip that is protected with this metallic box, the battery, and soft filter from Morata, double filter, the HMC5983 from Onuel that give you the compass and the connector with the six wires well connected over here as you can see let's mount it again it's very easy to mount and unmount and while I mount I will tell you something that this GPS model was the one with better design that I find that over the manufacturers of GPS receivers. Um, there are a lot of Chinese GPS receivers. Uh, Radiolink is also a Chinese company, but they uh, try to make a product that looks good, and they achieved that that goal because this has a awesome look, in my opinion, of course. Let me measure the GPS model so you can see it measures. You have 42.8 millimeters and on the far side we have 48.3, 15.4. Now let's see how it weights. Only oops. Only the receiver weights. 36 grams. Let me see with the accessories that came in the box. Okay, 44 grams. To test the reception of the satellites, I mounted over here, over here uh, a system that I will use later on a foldable frame from iFlight and it is the IF 450 the system that I want to test this GPS model is a PixHawk and a Radiolink Air 12DS a PDB PRM02 and this is a telemetry model that I will use also to connect to this flight controller you have to use the adapter lead that came with GPS that covers six pins to to 
to GPS over here with five pins as you can see we also have over here radio link AT10 uh, to test telemetry reception on the radio let me connect it now I will connect it I will connect the power to this flight controller okay already connected as you can see as you can see already have the signal threat of the of the radio and we'll change it to telemetry so we will see when it starts to receive GPS signals right now I will put the system outside to see the reception of the satellites I will leave the radio over here so we can see the GPS satellites to appear on the radio and get system outside to see GPS signals today outside is a very cloudy day so let's see how the GPS receiver can catch satellites this GPS receiver um, uses the most used satellite systems like GPS, GLONASS, Beidou, SBASL1, EGNOS, MASAS so it could surely it can get a nice number of satellites as you can see already have 13 satellites and as I said before today is a rainy day and very cloudy that's in a matter of seconds it could get 13 satellites let's wait a little bit more to see uh, how many satellites it can manage to get and then the manufacturer says that it can in 6 seconds no program catch 20 satellites uh, but I don't know really if it uh, will get the 20 satellites over here but in a matter of seconds it can get 13 satellites and the um, manufacturer also no says that it, uh, this GPS receiver has a precision of 50 centimeters so let's uh, wait to see if it um, gets more satellites because it is a cloudy day I don't think that it will get more satellites as you can see when it is connected it have a green LED over here and when you have satellites reception it starts to blink as you can see right now I'm receiving let me see three satellites inside the house four satellites inside the house and it blinks as you can see when reception is available it's a um, nice way to s if without any other system you can see if you already have GPS signal it starts to blink I forgot to show you the other lead with connector of 4 pins that you have to connect it over I2C so you can get compass over the board flight controller this GPS receiver also can be used with other flight controllers it's not only have to be used with PIXOC, APM um, right, the, right here on this model I have the SP3 Racing F3 flight controller and a GPS model that I use on INAV to get the GPS signal so I can have the flight modes Lighter. I have. I will leave the link. I will leave the, the link up here so you can see the detailed review where I talked about the receiver R12 DS and also talk about GPS receiver of this model as you will see on the, the link above. This was a review of this GPS model from Radio Link as you can see with a very nice look 
and very very good on GPS receiving. Um, you can find the link to description of this product from manufacturer website below on the, on the description of this video. Don't forget to subscribe and activate the bell so you can get notifications when new videos are available. We'll, we will try to get new more videos with tutorials, reviews um, and technical videos. Please give us a like and uh, stay tuned to the next videos. Thank you. Till next time. Bye.